I barely know who Emma Ratajkowski is. Uh, so why did I put those videos up yesterday, those sh series of short videos? Why did I post them, uh, them all yesterday? <clears throat> I, I, I was wanting to just express it all in one short video, but I guess I, I'm so long-winded I can't manage that. So <laughs> it had to be six. Um, <clears throat> it's funny that some of them are, you know, uh, are getting more play than others. I, I don't know if that's just a secret of the algorithm or if the, the title uh, was more appealing, uh, <clears throat> was more provocative for some than for others. I don't really know how that works. Um, but I, th I wanted to address what she said just because I have this thing where I get tired um, of, um, of men being suckers and I, 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 it's, it's because it's a personal thing. It's, uh, it's how I, I, f I feel that I have been for much of my life <clears throat> in spite of not wanting to be in spite of, uh, uh, you know, taking precautions against, uh, uh, against being such a person. Um, I think that when you have uh, something withheld from you, um, and it's something that you want, then you, uh, you end up wanting it more in spite of yourself, in spite of wanting to be the better part of you wanting to be stoic and resigned about it and just putting it aside and letting it happen if it happens and, and but just going about your business. Um, <clears throat> you know, from an early age, I felt myself to be on, on the outs, uh, socially speaking. And I didn't really think the prospect of, uh, um, I mean, there, there was no word for incel back then. Incel was not an expression, uh, when I hit puberty, but it was, it was kind of where I, how I saw myself. Um, and I had good reason to see myself that way. I was socially awkward. I was unpopular, um, you know, uh, et cetera and so on. So I... I'm aware of this sort of siren's call, which is, uh, you know, how, how can I be more attractive? What can I do to get girls to like me more? Um, and the answer is nothing. Um, and I'm not saying that to be black pilled. I'm honestly not because I hate, you know, I hate black pilled thinking. I'm saying it because I don't want to, uh, uh, to be a sucker. Um, I don't want to buy into somebody's scheme and I don't want to, like uh, people can, can innocently tell you things that are, that are bogus too. So it's not like anybody who has advice for you or, or says do this. And, you know, especially women who say do this, and this is, this is how women will like you more if you do this or that. Um, you know, it's a cliche, but you don't ask the fish how, how to catch them better. You ask a fisherman. <laughs> you know, so, um, so, uh, when I hear somebody like Emma Ratajkowski, who's, uh, of course, a beautiful, um, and famous, uh, woman who has, you know, has had frustrations in her romantic life. Um, and she's, she talks about men aren't enough this way. Men aren't, aren't, uh, you know, men need to be, uh, better about this or that or the other. What she's talking about is from her frame of reference uh, with regard to the men that she sees as potential um, um, partners. Now, women like to be with men who are above them in one way or another, whether that, whether that means that they're taller or smarter or uh, 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 higher status, <clears throat> more money, um, uh, you know, whatever. It, there are always exceptions to those rules, but those are but that's those are the general rules, and that's hypergamy in a nutshell. And hypergamy is not bad in and of itself within natural parameters, but it's bad when it's taken to extremes, which is what it's being taken to today, uh, given the the current atmosphere, the current culture, uh, and what has the the sexual revolution, the deeply destructive sexual revolution that has led to the current state of the culture. So men here. The, these these things, and they think, oh, Emma Ratajkowski is uh, attacking men. Emma, Emma, Emma Ratajkowski is down on men. Uh, but, but 
you know what she what what she is is she's down she's down on uh the men in her life that have uh not lived up to uh what she wants them to be but the only people that she she sees as men um <laughs> in the sense of being uh you know men in her life men that that are potential uh life partners for her potential husbands for her um are the kind of men who are extremely rich extremely powerful extremely uh attractive so she doesn't she's not including 99% plus of men uh <laughs> who are actually out there she's only con including a very very small percentage of men uh in her uh her derisive commentary on men to 99% 99 plus percent 99.99999 plus percent of the male population she just doesn't see them they are invisible to her they, they might as well be furniture and I get that that's how it works you know I'm not uh, bitching and moaning about that I'm just saying you know a person apprehending this news needs to understand what she means when she's talking that way not don't be a sucker and think well I could be different <laughs> I could get her to notice me uh, I could you know I could show her my my uh, my sensitive side and you know come on <laughs> come off it and again I am not saying this to be black pilled and I'm not saying this to say that she's above you uh, or that, that she's better than you uh, and, and you're just you're just uh, you know, pathetic and whatever, because you're mid to low status. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm, I, I, the opposite. I think uh, low status men should have pride for being who they are. Um, and uh, of course, you should still take care of yourself. You should still be the best you that you can be. Um, you know, this this isn't you know just a, a black pill where it's like you just you know uh, go do whatever, go get fat and and die <laughs> because um, because uh, you know it's just it's, it's that bleak out there and and there's nothing really to live for and there are no solutions to your problems I'm not saying that but I am saying be a real be realistic don't be a sucker don't don't be taken in I feel the same way whenever I like um, um, I, and again I pick on EV magazine a lot um, I, even though I'm with them uh, on, you know, in the in the culture wars, uh, I'm on the we're in the same trenches together. But when they say something like uh, a man is so much more attractive when he's chivalrous, being chivalrous makes a man so much more attractive. Uh, and and people, ch uh, you know, ch the, the comments come in from women who who are EV readers saying, "Oh, you're so right." Yes. Oh, he's hot. Oh, he, women, chivalrous men are so hot. You know, emoji with a drooling face and, and all that. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, a, a person reading that could, could, a man reading that could come to the conclusion that, oh, I need to be more chivalrous. If I am just chivalrous, I will become hotter. And it's like, no, no, you won't. Okay. Again, not to put you down, not to be black-pilled, but here's the way it works. If a woman already finds you attractive, then you being chivalrous will, uh, will just knock her out. You know, will, uh, well, I won't say what it'll do to her physiologically, but you, you, get, you get what I'm talking about. There will be moisture in certain, uh, in, in certain regions. Only if she already finds him attractive, okay? Um, if, if somebody that's like, because again, if you're not attractive to her, you're not on her radar. Okay. It's sort of like when they say things like it's so sexy when men are, uh, are good with children, it, seeing a man, you know, be, be, uh, be a good father is so sexy, uh, or, or see even like seeing men be kind to, uh, to dogs and cats and, you know, uh, it's so, it's, it's so sexy and blah, blah, blah. Well, no, it's sexy because you already found them 
attractive and appealing. And now you, you see on top of them already being attractive, you see them, you know, being good fathers or being kind to animals um, or being chivalrous. And then it's like, wow, <laughs> this is the whole package. But the foundation of the package was that the attraction had to be there in the first place. Okay. If the attraction were not there in the first place, then it wouldn't matter uh, how many pictures there are of you, uh, you know, holding a, holding a baby and, and smiling uh, or, you know, feeding a squirrel uh, <clears throat> or holding a door open for an old lady, um, you know, or, or getting up and letting, letting a woman take your seat on the bus. You know, no, I mean, yeah, a, a woman might see those pictures and think, oh, that's nice. He's a nice guy. Uh, but if she's not already attracted to you, that's not going to make her say, wow, uh, what a hunk, what a, what a sexy beast. You know, it's nonsense. It's ludicrous. So that's all I'm saying. Um, you know, don't be taken in, don't be fooled. Uh, you know, uh, don't lose your head. This is, this is all that I'm saying to my low status brethren out there. <clears throat> It's not putting you down. It's the very opposite. It's it's uh, it's me wanting to raise you up. It's me wanting to to uh, get you to not be a sucker uh, and uh, not fall for this stuff because it's so easy to fall for these things because because biology want, you know biologically speaking we you you want uh, you want what you want. You got to learn to put biology aside and. Uh, let your let your mind, let your brain uh, rule uh, your the the part of you that wants to feel flattered, uh, that wants to feel uh, ooh she likes me. Uh, oh, all I have to do to get her to like me is to do this. You know, you should be the best per man you can be, regardless of, of whether bitches are going to be down with you or not. Okay, put it simply that. That, that's, you know, you should be the most moral that you could, you can possibly be the strongest, uh, that you can possibly be, you, you should be, uh, uh, working on whatever gifts God has given you work to cultivate them, you know, <clears throat> work to make something of them, make something of your life. Um, I am pro all of those things. Just don't be a sucker. Uh, and it's very easy to be one, especially in the day and age in which we live where average to below average men especially are just sort of ignored, uh, if not reviled, um, you know, habitually. Um, but you gotta be a man. You gotta, you gotta take it and you gotta not be a sucker. You gotta, you gotta, uh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Let's just say you gotta nut up, you know, um, and, uh, and stop, thinking with your nuts. <laughs> That's really bad. I think I'll just end this video now. Thanks for watching.